In this video, we're going to focus on the groups function of Aurowind Map and how you can utilize that in order to collaborate with colleagues and other Ocean users. As a reminder, you do need to have a login account for Aurowind Map in order to use this feature. You can see by my name in the top right that I'm currently logged in. So there are a couple different ways uh, to access the group's homepage. I could click on my name and access it via the drop down here. I could also click on groups in the top navigation bar. So this is going to bring us to the homepage for groups. There's a brief description, again, about why you might like to use this tool. It's a really great way to work with colleagues and other Ocean users to collaborate on maps and drawings that might inform your thought processes on offshore wind planning as well as your public comments. So if I wanted to create a new group, I would click here. I can give it a name. In this case, I'm going to call it uh, Testing2 because I already have a separate test group. I can choose to keep it public, which means that anybody can join it and therefore see the maps that you bookmark there. Or I could choose to make it private. Um, and that would mean that as an owner of the group, you would actually need to approve membership requests, um, which would grant people the ability to contribute to and view maps that are bookmarked there. So I'm gonna keep it public for now. I'm gonna give it a brief description that just says testing for a wind map and then you've got the option to choose an image that represents the group. I'm not going to choose an image today. This means that it will be assigned a default image and you'll see what that looks like in a moment. So after I click create group you can see that it stores a certain amount of information for each group. Uh, it tells me the day that it was created and who owns it. There's also this preference option where I can choose whether or not I'd like to share my real name with this group. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. If I want to make any changes to the group that I've just created at any time, I can go to Manage Map Group. I could make changes to the title, description, image, and whether or not it's public or private. And if I decide that I no longer want this group, I could go ahead and delete it. I'm going to go back for now to the main group page. And before we go ahead and practice saving something to that new group, I'm going to open up an existing group. So this demo group is one that I created in January of 2022. You can see the group members here. Um, as the owner, I could choose to promote other people to owner status, uh, which would give them some of those capabilities to help manage the group. And I could also choose to remove someone. Here you can see that uh, there are saved map bookmarks as well as drawings. And again, that's, that's the real function of these groups. So this pink shrimp fishing effort map is one that I actually highlighted in a previous video. If I just click on that hyperlink, it's gonna go ahead and bring me to that bookmark. So even if I weren't the one who created it, if I were in the group where this was saved, I could access it and see those active data layers. The drawings that are shared to the group are also listed here. In order to open the drawing in uh, the map viewer, I would actually need to access it through my planner. But if I click on this information symbol, I can actually see a preview that tells me the name, description, and owner of that drawing, as well as a map viewer preview of it. So I'm gonna exit this group for now and actually go back to our map viewer. I'm just going to create a quick bookmark and a quick drawing in order to show you how that function works. So let's just choose some layers to turn on. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the black footed albatross predicted density slider. And let's choose one from human as well. Let's see, let's go to conservation and let's turn on a coastal critical habitat designation. I'm going to go ahead and look at albatross in the spring instead. Again, this is a data slider so I can move the season that I'd like to look at. And I'm going to make that a little bit darker. Now I'm going to go to my planner and I'm going to say new bookmark. So I'm going to call this just test bookmark 
really keep it creative here. Give it a little description, and then I'll add that bookmark. Now when I go to my drop down menu, um, you can see all the bookmarks that I've saved to my account. Again, these are just saved to my personal account unless I go to this gear icon, then I can hit share bookmark. I could share this URL, I could embed this map somewhere, or I could go to groups. So there are three different groups that I'm currently a member of. The one that we just created is called testing two. So I'm going to select that and I'm going to select share. Now if I go back to my groups and I go back to testing two, I can see test bookmark right here. I can click on that and it's going to bring me back to that shared map or that bookmark that I created. So this is really useful if you're going to be uh, working on this you know, over time and want to return to the same map or have more than one person contribute to a map. This is a really great tool to utilize. The next thing that I'm just going to show you is if I'd like to share a drawing to the group. So I would click on that new drawing. I'm going to draw a shape again. Just make a big rectangle off the coast of Oregon. I'm just going to call this test shape and I'm not going to give it a description for now. So I'm going to save that. You can see test shape on my list of uh, personally created drawings. You can see that it's activated right now. So I'm going to use this gear once again and I'm going to select share and I'm going to select testing two, which is the group that I'd like to share that drawing with. So again, if I return to groups, and I return to testing two, I can now see test shape. And so again, in order to open the shape in the map viewer, I would actually have to do so from my planner. However, I can click on this information symbol and I can get a preview of that test shape that I've created. So that's a brief introduction to how to use the groups feature of Aura Wind Map. We hope you enjoy.